everyone my name is mini sethi i hope you all are staying healthy today we are going to talk about measurement of national income there are mainly three methods to measure national income value added method income method and expenditure method first of all we will see value added method according to value added method we can calculate national income by summing the value which is added by each producing unit according to value added method we can calculate national income by summing the value which is added by each producing unit for example there are two farms a and b b farm purchased groundnut from farm a at 30 rupees by using uh, these uh, groundnut farm b prepared oil and sell this oil in market at 80 rupees difference between 80 and 30 is equal to 50 rupees this 50 rupees value is added by b form similar there are so many producing unit each producing unit add some value in product and according to this method we can calculate national income by summing the value which is added by each producing unit when we minus cost of intermediate goods from value of output it will become equal to value added by each producing unit cost of intermediate goods means price of our input value of output means our market sale price when we minus cost of intermediate goods from value of output it will become equal to value added by each producing unit first column we have producing unit farmer corn factory and ice cream maker middleman and vendor all these will be called producing unit second column we have cost of intermediate goods third column we have value of output when we minus cost of intermediate goods from value of output it will become equal to value added by each producing unit here you can see uh, total cost of intermediate goods for all producing unit is equal to 750 and total value of output of all producing unit is equal to 1250 when we minus 1250 from 750 it will become equal to 500 this 500 will be called value added by each producing unit so as we earlier discussed 500 rupees is some total of value which is added by each producing unit this 500 is equal to gross domestic product at market price in short we can say the gdp mp when we minus depreciation and net indirect taxes from gdp mp it will become equal to net domestic product at factor cost in short we can say the ndpfc when we add net factor income from abroad in ndpfc it will become equal to nnpfc that means it will become equal to net national product at factor cost and net national product at factor cost is equal to our national income so by value added method we can calculate national income now we will see income method according to income method we can calculate national income by adding all components of factor income according to income method we can calculate national income by adding all components of factor income and components of factor income are compensation of employees rent and royalty interest profit and mixed income first of all we will see each component of factor income first component of factor income is compensation of employees compensation of employees include wage in cash wage in kind and employer contribution to social scheme wage in cash include all monetary benefit like salary bonus wage in kind include non monetary benefit like a home car medical and education facilities employer contribution to social scheme include provident fund gratuity and pension plans A second component of factor income is rent and royalty we all know about rent we receive rent through land building royalty means payment made to individual for the use of their intellectual property for example a book author receive payment from publisher next component of factor income is interest rate interest is amount of money which lender receive for giving money to producer most important thing here we only use interest rate which we use for production purpose not any other interest rate 
नेक्स्ट कंपोनेंट इज प्रॉफिट प्रॉफिट मेनली हैव थ्री पार्ट कॉर्पोरेट टैक्स डिविडेंड एंड रिटेन अर्निंग कॉर्पोरेट टैक्स मींस टैक्स पेड बाय बिजनेस इज ऑन अ प्रॉफिट व्हिच दे अर्न डिविडेंड मींस पार्ट ऑफ प्रॉफिट व्हिच वी गिव टू शेयर होल्डर रिटेन अर्निंग मींस पार्ट ऑफ प्रॉफिट व्हिच वी कीप एज अ रिजर्व फॉर फ्यूचर अनसर्टेनिटी लास्ट कंपोनेंट ऑफ फैक्टर इनकम इज मिक्स्ड इनकम मिक्स्ड इनकम इज जनरेटेड बाय अन इनकॉर्पोरेटेड एंटरप्राइज एंड सेल्फ एम्प्लॉयड फॉर एग्जांपल इनकम अर्न बाय स्मॉल शॉपकीपर रिटेलर बारबर और डॉक्टर रनिंग इज ऑन क्लिनिक when we add all component of factor income compensation of employees plus profit plus rent and royalty plus interested plus mixed income it will become equal to net domestic product at factor cost in short we can say the ndp fc when we add net factor income from abroad in ndp fc it will become equal to nnp fc nnp fc means net national product at factor cost and net national product at factor cost is equal to our national income so by this way we can calculate national income from income method now we will see expenditure method according to expenditure method we can calculate national income by adding all component of final expenditure according to expenditure method we can calculate national income by adding all components of final expenditure and components of final expenditure are private final consumption expenditure government final consumption expenditure gross domestic capital formation and net export first of all we will see all components of final expenditure first component of a final expenditure is private final consumption expenditure it's include expenditure incurred by household and private non profit institution on all type of consumer goods government final consumption expenditure include expenditure incurred by government on various services like defense law and order and education etc next component of final expenditure is gross domestic capital formation gross domestic capital formation include two things gross fixed capital formation and inventory management gross fixed capital formation means expenditure on fixed assets for example expenditure on tools building equipment machinery etc inventory management measure change in stock of material work in progress and finished goods so that we can know how much stock we add in this year or how much expenditure we incurred on stock in this year next component is uh, net export when we minus import from export it will become equal to net export here x is export m is import when we minus import from export it will become equal to net export net export mainly tell us how much expenditure done by foreigners in our country product when we add all components of uh, final expenditure private final consumption expenditure plus government final consumption expenditure plus gross domestic capital formation plus net export it will become equal to gdp mp when we minus depreciation and net indirect taxes from gdp mp it will become equal to ndp fc when we add net factor income from abroad in gdp fc it will become equal to nnp fc nnp fc means net national product at factor cost as we earlier discussed and know net national product at factor cost is equal to national income so by this way we can calculate national income using expenditure method so this is all about measurement of national income i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care